Hey guys! Hello there! And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. I'm Lee. You yes. smell really nice, show pony. Well, thank you. I actually showered well, today. Well, thank you on behalf of everyone. <laughs> it's clearly the annual shower day. Well done. So you smell really good. <laughs> thank you. So in today's episode, we have some really uh, interesting things that are going to happen. Um, I'm using uh, some colors that I used actually in the last episode of our uh, live pours that we did. Right, yeah. If you didn't spot the last episode, it wasn't an episode episode like we normally put out in yeah. premiere. It was actually a live. Um, so go and check it out because he used some really yeah. awesome colors. Yeah. So I think I'm going to use those colors again today and see if I can get kind of that same composition. I know it won't be exactly like the one that I did. Of course, that's impossible. But I really love those colors and I love the richness mm. of that piece. So I'm going to go for it and see what happens. Right. Um, what are you going to do? I'm going to do something slightly different. So I did a straight pour on the live. I'm going yeah. to do a straight pour again, but this time I'm going to wreck it. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Getting really adventurous and brave oh, in I my know. old age. I know. You know, I think I might wreck mine too because I'm going to do a ring pour. So, so there's going to be lots of wrecking. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see when I get to the table. Okay. So. Uh, Anyway, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming and seeing us. And to everybody that has been here all along, you're awesome. We love you. And <laughs> why don't we go ahead and get to the table? We'll see you at the table. <laughs> All right there, ladles and jelly spoons. Welcome to the table. Okay, if you saw us on our live stream, Jeremy used some really, really wonderful colors and he did a really fantastic ring. It was a very small canvas though, so he was, he's going to try and do the same thing on a bigger canvas. So we are gonna use the same colors again with one addition and I'll show you what that is. So we are using the Amsterdam's Prussian Blue nice deep dark blue inky blue almost yes we've got golden's turquoise phalo really wonderful color love and then golden's quinacridone burnt orange these two colors together are just wonderful like on their own they can be a little bossy together really wonderful colors um jeremy used this arteza pearl pistachio green Thank you Arteza for sending us some product through. Um, we are an Arteza affiliate now. So if you want any Arteza products, please go click the link in the description box and you'll be able to be taken straight to the Arteza site for those. Um, we're using the DecoArt 24 karat gold. As you guys know, really? yeah, so a little bit of bling. <laughs> we are DecoArt affiliates, same scenario. It's no extra cost to you, but it really just does help us out. If you want to buy product, click that link. And then we've got this really wonderful color shift that is by Folk Art, and this is White Flash. So really interested to see how this works in this pour. I mixed it with a little bit of the Iridescent White by Liquitex Basics and another DecoArt staple of ours. It's the Satin Enamels. So I mixed a little bit of Satin Enamels in there too. Satin enamels in your pore will help just give you those big boulder cells, those really wonderful, wonderful cells that you get. Yes. Um, now, that was Jeremy's color palette. My addition, which I don't think he is gonna use, is some brilliant blue. I really wanted there to be another pop of fun color in there. And that's by Amsterdam. It is an Amsterdam. And then this is our base coat color. It is a really wonderful, kind of like whiny color. It's leftover paints. There's about three purples, there's a blue in here, a little bit of an orange in here as well, but it's given us this really wonderful wine color. I will not be keeping any of that on the canvas. It is there purely to help me get my composition to flow. Um, why do we put that down? It's just for that reason. If you didn't put a flow extender or a base coat down, your wonderful colors would just flow over each other as they were stretched out on the composition. So using leftover paints or really cheap paint helps you keep a really wonderful composition on your canvas. What am I using? Well, I'm using a 16 by 20 here today. It is tight like drum. It's been pinned, it's been backed, and it's all ready to be poured on. So I'm gonna do a straight pour today. Okay just like I did on the channel, but I did a wandering straight pour in the live on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But I have a plan. 
I may be using one of Sarah Mack's chopsticks on this straight pour. Let's just see how this composition comes out, but I think I'm gonna wreck the edges of this one. Okay. Just to play around with it. We have been asked to do a commission. It's a 30 by 40 inch canvas, huge canvas. And the technique that we're gonna use on that is a wrecked straight pour. So I'm gonna just practice around on this one and see what kind of fun composition I get. Sure. All right, show pony. I'm going to layer the Janice Jr. jug the little jug here, it's a 16 ounce. I'm only gonna need 16 ounces of paint to cover this 16 by 20 inch canvas. So this is all I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna go right to the tippy top. So it's a little bit more than 16 ounces. I'm going to do this right here. All right. Let's get to lay you in this jug. Are you ready, sir? I am ready. All right, I am going to pour a little bit of satin enamels into this first. This has also got the color shift and the pearl white in it. But then I'm gonna go dark. So this is the turquoise. This is the quinacridone burnt orange. Now the one thing I know about that quinacridone burnt orange is it looks awesome next to a little bit of gold. That it does. That it does. What also looks great next to gold is some Prussian. So you can see I'm using fairly small layers right now, not putting too much paint in this jug at this point because this is going to form the center of my straight pour. A little bit more white, a little bit more gold. Let's go back in with that turquoise phalo. Okay starting to get a little bit bigger lines now. I'll put that next to blue this time. Still kind of thinking about going light and dark as I lay this jug. Here's my Prussian. This time next to the quinacridone. It's so thick, that quinacridone, even when it's been thinned out. It's got a crazy thick consistency to it, but not much thicker than the other paints. So I think I'm golden. Uh, yeah, let's put another layer of blue next to that gold. I'm going to go dark again. And I'm going to go light. Let's go with the phalo. A bit more of the quinacridone. Okay, a little bit of gold. Some of the dark blue. I might finish this off with a little bit of the white satin enamels. All right, so that is my layered jug. I'm loving that. Let's see what happens now. Um, all right, so my jug has been layered. So I'm gonna take some of the satin enamels, color shift, pearl white mix, and just pour that onto my canvas because that's what I wanna puddle into. So let me just swirl this around if it's a slightly. All right, so let's straight pour this one onto the canvas. So first things first, I'm just going to fix my little squiggly center. Now, I'm not going to put my 
Merlot base coat down and then wreck it because I don't want to drag any of that color into my composition. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna actually wreck this one dry and I'm gonna wreck probably staying away from the center too much. I'm gonna wreck the outsides of this one and just see what this looks like. Sure. All right, sure pony, so let's wreck this. Thank you, sir. Now I'm gonna lay my base coat around my composition. All right, I don't hate this base coat color with this composition, but my plan is not to keep any of it. As I said, this was just leftover what you would call kind of waste paint. It was almost like drips off a table. But um, I do like what's happening on my canvas, so we're gonna stretch this one out. It is now, show pony. Tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. Ooh, 
okay, so there you have it, folks. All right, so I was having an internal conflict with myself. <laughs> you know, there's a rule of thought, like a train of thought, certainly in, you know, art appreciation, that your central composition shouldn't really be right in the middle of the canvas. But you know what? I really loved everything that was going on around the edges of it. So I didn't want to move it. I didn't want to lose it. So I've definitely got this, like, you know, funky, fun center, and then all these wrecks around the outside. And I'm living for it. I'm happy about this one. It's beautiful. Thank you, sir. So I have just torched it again. I have scraped my edges. I'm really happy with this 16 by 20 inch canvas. There's some really, really fun stuff that's happening on here. I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Thank you, everyone. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here, and as you can see, I'm hey, super excited. And, you jumped, <laughs> and, and you've jumped ahead of yourself, show pony. I have. What's I going have. on? So, I actually went ahead and just flooded my canvas uh, off, off camera and torched it. Um, so, that way I could just jump right into it, honestly. Um, you've already heard about the colors from Lee. What size canvas is yours? Yours is different, right? 20 by 20. Okay, yes. this is square. Yes. So, it comes out to like 15 ounces, 16 ounces of paint that I'm going to have to put in my jug to cover the canvas. Okay. Um, but I do have my base coat down, which is going to help it, you know, slide around and, right. and get my composition right. Um, so, why don't I go ahead and just jump right in and get to layer my cup. Let's do it. Okay, let's see here. I think I'm going to start with a little bit of gold. Okay. Oh, so you're pouring out the side of your jug today. Yes. Interesting. I meant to pour out that side, but... Okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> now is still the time. That's why I said it. <laughs> well, let's just move a little bit. There you go. Bit. Okay, I love it. There perfect. we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Mm. So, I'm going to go on with some of the... Don't make it too hard on yourself. I know you were thinking about angles. I was thinking about angles. What's all about? A little bit more. It's super windy out there today. It is super windy outside. I'm going to go in there with a little bit of white. Okay. Pearl white slash combo. Slash color shift slash satin slash enamels. Slash satin enamels. Right. Then I'm going to go in with some of the... Turquoise? Phalo turquoise. Sorry, I was concentrating. You know how I like to concentrate. I do, I do. I was just finishing your sentence for you. You know how much I like to finish your sentences for you. <laughs> <laughs> Cavalry is going to come out the other end. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this Quinacridone Burnt Orange, which I'm in love with. Lovely. Yeah, that is a little thick there. You know, it's so weird. It's not. That Quinacridone always has this like gelatinous right. effect to it. It's so weird. But it actually, when you stir it, it's the same thickness as all, as all the other paints. It's very strange. Go with a little bit of gold. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the pistachio. It's an interesting combo. Mm -hmm. Always. Always. Now, now I think I look at it like putting the white next to the gold. Oh yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Now I said at the beginning that you weren't going to use my blue, but you actually did keep it on the table. The brilliant blue, I did, right? I yeah. did. So I'm, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering where I'm going to use it. I think okay. I'm going to use it next. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of this Prussian, Prussian again. And I think I'm going to go in with this brilliant blue.
Then I think from there, I think I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of white. Just pearl white. And from there, I think I'm gonna go in with some more of the phthalo turquoise. Put a nice healthy layer of that. Again, quinacridone. A little bit more gold. Just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. Then I think I'm gonna go back in with some pistachio. A lot of pistachio. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Then I think I'm gonna go in with, let's see, pistachio. And then I'm gonna go back in, I think, with the phalo, uh, the, the Prussian blue. Then I'm gonna go in with the Prussian blue. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of white this time. Okay. And then next, I think I'm gonna go with the brilliant blue again. I'm glad you kept it in there. Yeah, it's nice too. to have that light pop. Really so beautiful. Thank you. I mean, yours came out really beautiful. You haven't got a lot left to put in there. Nope. You're done. I think I'm going to put just a little bit more phthalo turquoise. I think if you do, it's going to come out the end of your spout. So be, yeah, caref be careful. Maybe. Okay, I'm done. Yeah? yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So I have my cup here. It's all layered and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and start my, my ring. Ten out of ten on that dismount. Thank you. Lovely job. I didn't want a lot of gold was coming out right here, so I wanted to stop because right. I know that I had gold last in my cup. Okay. So there's a lot of gold on here. So we're gonna see what happens when I stretch it out. So I'm excited about this. Are you wrecking first? Or are you torching first? I'm gonna torch. Okay. Okay, so I just got done torching. Now, I don't think I'm going to wreck. I think I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Okay. You think I should wreck it? I think it's totally up to you. Yeah, I'm not gonna wreck it. Okay. I'm gonna stretch this one out and see how it goes. All right, so you've torched it off already? I did, I torched it. So now it's... Tilting time. It's tilting time. Okay guys, so once upon starting to stretch this out, I realized that, you know what? I think I might want to go ahead and wreck this one. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag just kidding. Right. Um, so. It is your prerogative to change your mind. It is. And you right. haven't stretched it too far. So. No, I haven't. Go for it. So I got my Ceramac chopstick here. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and wreck this bad boy.
Okay, guys, so I'm done wrecking this. So I see an octopus in the middle. Do you? Sitting on a tree, eating a small <laughs> child. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> okay, so it's back to tilt and time. Let's now. tilt this, Let's one, tilt out. this one out. Tilt and time. 2.0. Okay guys, wow. I am in love with this piece. I think it's incredible. I love the lines in it. I love the color in it. It just really is, I, I, I'm in love with it. Well, listen guys, if, you, if we were trying to kind of, you're not trying to recreate the piece that you did on the live, but you'd certainly wanted to be inspired by those colors. And I think this exactly. is really stunning. Thank you. I love that blue that you added too. Thank you. That was smart. Thank you, sir. I wanted just a little pop of color. Yeah, so a pop it's of great. bright color. I'm loving all this, like the quinacridone. Yeah, yeah, and even like the lines up here are really yeah, pretty. Yeah, just really beautiful. All right, let's take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it.
issues is stunned and struck her back. <laughs> okay, guys, so there you have it. There you have it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think? Um, I really loved it. I thought it came out amazing. Um, I loved the fact that I ended up wrecking that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I started to stretch it out and I was like, you know what? Yeah, this needs a wreck. So I'm glad that I did it. I thought it came out great. What about yours? Well, let me just say about yours as well. I'm really glad that you added the brilliant blue in as well because I think yes. it just gave it another dimension. I agree. Really interesting. And you got a very similar composition to the live stream pop. Oh, yeah. So I know, I know that's what you were trying to do. I loved it. Well done. I really enjoyed mine. Um, listen, there was a time where wrecking anything really freaked me <laughs> out. Well, it's been a year and a half now and almost yeah. two years on our painting journey. Yeah. And, and I'm definitely a lot more confident in my own um, to, to kind of wreck something now and loved it. Yes. I really enjoyed it. Yes. I didn't want to wreck the middle because I saw that there was a lot going on already but wrecked all the outside, mm -hmm. had an internal conversation with myself about whether I should move that central composition somewhere else on the canvas, kept it exactly where it was, that's what the show pony said, although I still think <laughs> it should have been somewhere else. You'll let us know in the comments, but yes. I loved it. Loved those colours, great colour show pony, they're kind of similar ones to the ones that we use a lot, like these ones behind kinda, us actually, kinda. without the purple. Um, but there's something that we're drawn to with those blues, the golds, the whites, the pistachios. Mm. Really, really awesome yeah, palette. Definitely. Very well done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, like I said before, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. And why don't I go ahead and just take us out? Let's do it. All right. Let's let these wonderful folks get on with the rest of the week. Yeah. When will we see them again? We will see you again on Friday. Yes, that we will. Yes. At 7 o'clock. We'll so. see you then. Alright, bye guys. Bye, have a good week. And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now, that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage, lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massey Art Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the Platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the Platinum Patreons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our Gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level, right? Who is Susan Shepherson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level, hey, you all know her, lover. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles. Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. So to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studio. Absolutely. Thank you guys. <laughs>